Hey, fishy folks, and happy Water Change Wednesday to you. Hope everyone's having a great day and a great week. It's hump day, and uh, lots going on in the fish room. I shipped like 30 boxes this weekend, or Monday, I should say. Uh, woke up butt crack early, like 3 a.m. on Monday morning to make sure I could get everything boxed and ready to go. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is some cobalt food and a special deal from Super Cichlids. First, let's talk about this food. This is the Ultra Pellet Tropical Sinking Grazing Pellet. And what I like about this pellet is um, it's a little more dense than a regular sinking pellet. See, here's the size of it. Um, but it's a little bit more dense. And what that means is you can drop it in the tank and just leave it. And it doesn't disintegrate. So plecos or any other bottom dwelling fish, um, quarries, anything can, you know, kind of graze on it as the day goes. But what I use it for are baby guppies, tender and delicious guppy fry. I drop a handful, I don't know, five or six pellets in there. And I know all day they'll be able to nibble on it and graze on it. And when I get home, Sometimes 12 hours later, I look and there's still remnants of the pieces and they're not like disintegrated like a regular algae uh, wafer would do. So I really like them. It's the Cobalt Ultra Tropical All Natural Fish Food Sinking Bottom Feeding Grazing Pellet. Now, uh, the ingredients are the typical Ultra Cobalt ingredients, prawns, jumbo squid meal, dried spirulina algae, dried kelp, dried seaweed, whole garlic, soybean meal, all great stuff. 41% protein and uh, fantastic food. I really like it. And what I like is it doesn't cloud the water um, that much. A little bit, little tint, but I tend to overfeed. You probably won't overfeed. Let me tell you about a super special deal from supercichlids.com. My friends Martin, Lisa, and I came up with a great deal for you guys. They're doing me a favor. Um, here's the deal. First off, in order to get this deal, it includes free stuff. In order to get the free stuff, you have to use this link. You can't go to their website. It won't work. You have to use this link, which is a link to their website. Also links down, down below in the description that you can just click it and click it. But uh, if you buy $40 worth of anything from their website, Cobalt food, Northfin, doesn't matter, whatever you buy, you get a free small jar of cobalt food, any of the food they carry except for Smartinia, um, and free shipping. $40, super cichlids, free shipping, free cobalt food. Boom, it doesn't get any better than that. It doesn't. Tell me how it gets better. It doesn't. All right, fishy folks. Enough of me telling you what's good. You know it's good. SuperSickets.com. Grab a snack and a beverage and stand by for an epic fish room tour from Michael's Fish Room. All right, fishy folks, let's take a look at the five mutt tanks. Uh, a lot of these guys uh, will be sold, will be shipped really soon. So if you like a mutt, a specific mutt, uh, I really can't do anything about it. It's just too hard. I want that one. I want that one. I want the purple one. Yeah, it's it's really too hard. I don't really pick mutts, but um, there's like 150 million babies in here, so that's pretty nice. There's babies in here. There's babies in here. Um, this is a albino bristlenose pleco breeding tank. Um, got the hang on back just to help clean up some of the mulm. But uh, they like them all. They seem to really enjoy it. So up here we have the Sunset Cobra mosaics. I've separated most of the adults. You can see one there. Um, chilling, lots of fry, lots of juveniles. Over here we have um, what was American Purple Deltas that turned with yellow tails. I'm pretty sure these are gonna go into the mutt tanks. Um, don't really know. I guess they didn't really breed true. Here we have the purple and yellow steel nebulas, also on the website. And this is just a couple of fry left over from one of the outdoor ponds. I got a, they looked a little skinny, like they, they caught a little bug. So I just, I've left them in here and I'm treating them as I've treated other new fish. Uh, you know, with the trio of meds. 
All right, we gotta move over here. Here we have long film, long fin bristle nose plecos. I don't know if you can see any. There's one hanging underneath the. There's another one, just chilling. Um, these are from my first wholesale order. Probably should have cleaned that first, but oh well. Uh, I think there's six in here. These are our breeding stock. I'm not really selling these yet, so it's probably gonna be. My guess would be it's gonna be eight months to a year before I ship them. You can see the water has some tannins in it. Tannins in it. That's from some of the wood that Rock Lady sent me. Onto the Tanaka Maple Leafs. This is the tank that I completely lost everything because that heater was on and I had no idea because I'm an idiot. So there's a female, there's a male looking spectacular, just waiting for them. Actually, that, that might be a male too. That's hard to tell. Gotta wait for her to turn. Has the shape of a female, but the coloring of a male. I gotta, what do you guys think? I think it's a female. Anyway, hopefully there's at least a pair in there so I can get this breeding party started. Half blacks. Um, yeah, lots of fry. Colombian spotted plecos, L165. Let's see if we can see any. There's some green beans from this morning. Nice wood. <laughs> uh, a couple of different filters in there. I don't, I don't see them. They're hiding. They hide pretty good. Damn, I wish I could show you. Maybe we'll circle back when I get the ladder. Here's the breeding project. Uh, red Cobra females and a uh, black Moscow male. Lots of fry. I'm assuming those fry are gonna be all red Cobras. Uh, I'm probably gonna pick out the, the adults shortly, throw them in another tank and see what we get there and then let these guys grow up. Steel Nebula Guppies. These will be going on the website shortly. Um, not yet. If you're interested, let me know. I don't know how much they're going to be yet, but these are spectacular. This is uh, most of the stock I got from Keith from KJE at Aquatics. Uh, and also some of my old stock. I mixed them all together. That's why you see some with that like fantastic, spectacular tail. And then that fantastic, spectacular tail. But... Jarawee Lazulis might be the slowest growing guppy I have ever seen. Most of these fry were born in November. Yeah, and they're tiny. Look, you see one male that's showing his color, another male that's starting to show his color. But I have like three or four orders for these. So guys, if you're watching, this is why your fish aren't shipping. Look, they're still not sexable for the most part. For the most part. So I, I'm thinking another two weeks and I'll have quite a few males to choose from. This is one of the tanks, few tanks. I have a heater in still to try to get some more males out of here because it looked like I had a poop ton of females, but now I just have both because of the heater. I think, unscientific study. These are the uh, red tucks or half black red deltas. Uh, a tank of males. I think all these are actually sold. Um, I'll tell you about some of the uh, problems I had with my wholesale order in a minute. Medusa guppies, pretty much steel nebulas, I think, but just another name. I mean, they're a little bit different, but uh, lots of fry, lots of babies. That's one of the females I got. Tail's kind of jacked up, so she'll just be a breeder and then probably go into the mutt tank maybe when she gets older, but you can see how stunning they look. They look amazing. This is the uh, ghost guppy tank. No, this is just a tank. It's empty. Uh, I haven't cleaned it yet forget even what was in here but these are the dark purple moscows um i wrote mosaic but they're moscows a couple of uh fry hiding up in there um a couple generations not big producers as of yet so i gotta i gotta get in there and figure out what's going on um when i went to california my son came down and fed the fish room once so he says but i did lose a lot of fry so not so sure. Anyway, uh, albino pleco grow out tank, nice and mum filled. And also that one of those cichlids that nobody can tell me what it is that I got to get rid of because I don't really know and I don't really want it. But just grow outs of albino bristle nose. All right. Special tank of uh, chocolate bristle nose and platies. Got these platies and they breed like guppies. 
So these will be going up on the website soon too. Uh, these are growing up, you know, pretty fast. You can see a pleco all the way on the back there. Hopefully these guys will start breeding for me. I'm gonna have to probably rearrange the tank a little bit, but. Super red pleco babies, there's quite a few in there. They like to hide. They're actually all over the tank. Uh, you can see there's some mom and snails and some green beans left over. Looks like the male's in there uh, probably doing his business, helping me out. Uh, gotta clean the filter, things like that happen. Here's a disappointment. Uh, these uh, jade head AOCs, I don't know what we're calling them, but there's fry in there now, but when I went when I went to California, actually when I went to Canada three weeks ago, I lost a lot of fry in here. I'm just thinking they got hungry. I don't really know, but um, I didn't say anybody, so that's what I'm going with. And uh, yeah, that one looks a little skinny too. I'm gonna have to probably treat this tank. It's hard to tell sometimes. I don't see any white poop, at least I have it when I looked, but he looks a little skinny. There's a female in there somewhere, probably in the weeds, just chilling, maybe dropping fry. Those fry look a couple days old, so. Not more than two or three though, that's for sure. All right, uh, Japanese blues, breeding like guppies. Um, there's, I don't know, three generations by now. These are the ones that I sold to uh, a customer in Puerto Rico and then he wanted to practice shipping fish. So he, he sent some back to me and boom, here they are. Albino chocolate bristlenose plecos. Let's see if we can find any. There's one and two over there. Lots of green beans from uh, this morning still. And mom. This tank also has um, the red Russian lace fry that Super Breeder Doug gave me. Water is cold. I just turned up the heating. It was only 73 degrees in here. I turned the heat down last night for my live stream. Obviously today's Sunday. And uh, I never turn it back up, so. All right, here we have Hawaiian snake skins and um, calico bristlenose plecos. They're all over the place. There's one chilling back there. This tank I do have to do some work on. The mom's getting pretty thick on the bottom. I don't think it's a big deal, but um, it makes it harder to catch fish. So since we're starting to sell again, we're gonna keep be keeping the tanks a little bit more uh, cleaner. Uh, what do we have in here? Super Red Grow Outs, all these are sold and spoken for. And then we have the uh, Black Moscow's that I got from Super Breeder Doug. Oh, looks like we had a malfunction. Stand by. This airline's pretty hard. I don't know if it's just not gonna stick. There we go. Um. Yeah, waiting for these guys, the fry in here. There's fry in here. Waiting for them to, to grow up. I got an order for them. Talk to the guy. Figure in about a month, month and a half, they'll be big enough to sex. Boom, we'll sell them. Over here we have some calicos, some additional calicos. No, these are just regular bristle nose. And there's some fry, some guppy fry in there. Um, tank's got to be cleaned up a little bit. All right, folks, here's a screw up. There's a uh, bristlenose plecos in here, as well as, what can I think of the name? Cribs, cribenzas. And uh, the adults are sold, <laughs> and the subadults, which were fried, now they're subadults, are sold. And, you know, I fast the fish for two to three days before I ship them, and this tank uh, has plecos in it, and so I dropped some pleco food in here on Saturday night. And then I dropped uh, some uh, cichlid food in here. So, guys, uh, for the two customers that bought the the uh, the uh, cribs, sorry, it's going to be at least another week because I'm silly. All right, here we have albino bristle nose and uh, a china filter, and oh, there's a male in the cave. There's some fry in here too. They they tend to hide, which you know happens, I guess, but. Uh, blue neon guppies I got from my local fish store before I placed my wholesale order because I got these also in wholesale. Um, so I'm keeping them separate for now. You can see all the fry. 
I just got four females. I lost one female already. Not already. She dropped fry and died. It happens. But uh, these guys doing well. Looks like there's at least one more batch of fry in there. Uh, we talked about everything over here. Let me grab the seat in my chair. I'm doing Chewy's Tank last because um, I was just kind of messing with him and the tank's a disaster. So anyway, here are the albino long fin bristle nose. You can see a little one. Here's what happens when you, when you order wholesale. They have a size, small, medium, large. When I hear small, I don't think, you know, juvenile or fry. I guess, I guess it's probably my fault for not asking, but these came in a variety of sizes. That's one of the smallest ones. And the biggest one was probably about that big. Unfortunately, uh, these came in pretty sick and I lost six of them. So there should be six left. Um, looks like I lost another one right there. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to show that on camera, but it's real life. We don't hide anything here at Michael's Fish Room. We show you what it's like. So, um, yeah, wholesale order. For me, not as great as I wanted it to be in all aspects, but still worth it for me to uh, for me to do it. So, I spoke to the wholesaler. It's not a big deal. I'll get credit for you know most almost everything. You know this pleco's been here for two weeks. So, is it my fault? Is it his fault it was a just a weak fish i don't know i'm not uh overly concerned over one um when we talk about some guppies down the road we'll i'll tell you what's up so i gotta get that thing out of there in fact stem i'm gonna do it now so i don't forget all right fishy folks i took care of that deceased long fin albino pleco that's right i said long fin albino pleco at least that's what i was supposed to say uh, sorry if it bothers you. It's a fact of life in a fish room. It's a fact of life if you keep fish, sometimes they die. I know the haters are going to be like, well, it's because you suck at keeping fish. And I just have uh, two words for the haters. Suck it. But keep commenting because it really helps my views and my interaction when you comment. So make sure you keep leaving those hate comments. It really helps me out. Anyway, let's talk about this Title 55 filter I have. People lost their minds when I said... I think AquaClear is the best. Did you try the title? It's spectacular. It starts when the power goes out. Okay, and that's a great feature. And it does. You can put it on a tank completely dry and within seconds it's pumping water and that is great. But a couple people told me it was noisy when the water level gets low. And I got back from California and the water level was below the skimmer part of it and it was like <laughs> And that would make me throw it against the wall. So if you're one of those fish keepers that keeps your water level perfect at all times, this filter's for you. If you're one of those people that forget, and even when you know it's low, you don't do anything, this filter's not for you. Now, if you're one of those people that forget and don't like the noise, then maybe this filter is for you because it would be a reminder to top off or change water. I'm just saying. Hey, I have one shrimp in the fish room, and there it is. Look at it. Is that not spectacular? When I bought these fish from uh, a local subscriber who also sells bettas, um, she, it, it was in her pond, and she just, it got caught in all the, the moss and stuff, and it's grown quite a bit. Anyway, it's gone now. All right, blue deltas. Blue deltas are part of the wholesale order I got. I think I lost one of these in the first week. Not a big deal. I just threw in some java moss from Chewy's tank. I like to take java moss out of tanks, throw it in Chewy's tank. If there's any spare fry or guppies, he makes them a tasty treat. But uh, yeah, put it in there. If there's some fry, great. I'm gonna eventually separate some fat females from all of the fish I got wholesale to raise in other tanks and start breeding again. Uh, red cobras in this tank. Um, I've sold a poop ton of red cobras. I have one customer who ordered four pair plus eight females. So that's a lot. Anyway, moving along. This is the disaster tank from the wholesale order. These are the, um, they're called red tucks, half black red deltas. I lost all the males and probably half the females. Um, they all came in pretty skinny. I've been treating them appropriately. And um, I think these are the ones that are going to make it. 
Um, these won't be for sale for quite a while. Luckily, I have females and males in stock I can sell because uh, I won't be selling these. Also, um, I do have one net that I use for this. And it's hanging up over there just so it's separate from all the other nets so I don't get them cross-contaminated. One of the things that's important, especially if you have more than one tanks, it, tank, is if you have one sick tank, don't use any equipment from any other tank in that tank. I said tank a lot, but... The other thing is, if you put your hand in a sick tank, make sure you wash it before you put it in another tank. That's something I'm definitely guilty of. All right, moving on to the green cobras. Uh, I think I lost one of these as well from the uh, shipment. Good looking fish. Um, there are some with a little bit of red in the tail, so I'm gonna be pulling those out and uh, hopefully getting more of a green color. It's time to... Uh, hook these up to the auto water change system which this tank isn't almost all of them are but this tank isn't moving along to the red cobra male tank as well as the black moscow male tank and some of the steel heads jade heads nothing really special there what, what is that oh there was a, a black moscow just laying in the weeds up there and i could have swore he was dead he was just sleeping Gold Cobras, Yellow Cobras, Gold Cobras, looking good. Didn't have any losses in this tank. Um, pretty spectacular looking fish. All these fish have been treated appropriately for internal parasites and any other illness. Um, I, te I, I tend to believe that every library you get from a wholesaler and even some from breeders have some sort of parasite. I also believe if the fish is healthy, they can help fight it off on their own. And that's why you can see a fish with a parasite and they're not like dying because they're strong. So you gotta, you gotta get it fast. Moving along to the uh, Black Panda Guppies. My former number one seller until uh, Red Cobras. Now Red Cobras my number one seller, but uh, these guys really small. Half this line is from Corey at Aquarium Co-op and half of them are from another local breeder. Um, I've added genetics, obviously, to the line. There's quite a few fry in there, adults, sub-adults. First sale at Michael's Fish Room. Uh, these are blue cobras. Uh, got these from my local fish store. You can see there's some fry in there. Um, I wasn't overly concerned about fry when I first got them. I wanted to make sure they settled in and everybody survived. And it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six. Everyone survived. So we'll add some more java moss to this tank and get, get the breeding going. All right, there's my heater, nice and warm. That's my shirt, Super Cichlids. Love Super Cichlids. Don't forget about their deal. Buy $40 worth of goodness using the link in the description below, as I said in the beginning of the video, and get free shipping and a free small jar of cobalt food, excluding Smartemia. Anyway, here are the uh, Dumbo Red Dragon Mosaics. Breeding nicely, growing nicely. Just fantastic looking fish. Here are some of the half black reds or red tuxes, the grow outs. Here are some of the females that I'll be pairing with males for the sales. And of course, in this tank, the glass belly guppies. Um, this is a tank where I lost quite a few of fry when I was gone thinking they got hungry but there's also some long fin plecos in there you can see there's a pleco a baby pleco hanging out on the sponge filter i guess my long fins threw some albinos hopefully that's a long fin albino that would be kind of cool but there's two or three fry i've seen so there's probably some more in the weeds um and the long fins they don't come out very often this is another tank i need to sort of take everything out of and clean it up and clean the java moss and uh get some more Assassin snails. I need assassin snails. I gotta see if they're on the list this week. Uh, I just saw water leaking. Not, not leaking, but water that definitely has leaked. I gotta check that out. All right. <gasps> uh, betta fish and uh, pluckos in here. Reading. Here are the L144 lemon blue eye plecos. Uh, these guys are just breeding 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 lots of different size fry in there you can see all the caves are taken you can see there's a really small 
fry right there. And then there's some, some more fry over here. There's a tiny one on the glass. There's a juvenile. That's about the size you're gonna get if you buy them, maybe a little bigger than that. Um, like there's a, an adult right there, probably a female, I don't see any bristles. But uh, yeah, that's this tank. Now you might be saying to yourself, Mike, why do you have an air stone? Well, this tank once got really, really hot and I started losing fish. Uh, it was like 84, 85 degrees in there. Um, I forgot to turn the fan back on and yada, 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 they got hot. So just in case I forget, forget again, I threw an air stone in there, which will help with oxygen. As you guys may or may not know, uh, the hotter the tank, the harder the oxygen exchanges. So I just add it up. Uh, also, there's a poop ton of snails in here. Chewy loves snails. There's Chewy. Let's go. Let's go look at Chewy. I love Chewy. Hi, Chewy. Look how big his cock is. It is spectacular. In fact, I can measure his cock now. Well, let me show you. I got this from Martin at Super Cichlids. It's uh, the Watch 'em Grow. Uh, you can buy it on their website. I think it's like ten bucks or something. But it's basically a just moving some food around so you can see. Oh, look at him smiling at us. He's so sexy. Um, oh, there's a Millennium Falcon, the fastest ship in the galaxy. Ran the Kessel Run 12 parsecs. I'm not a Star Wars nerd. Yes, I am. Anyway, you just, you know, stick it up on the tank and then you can measure your fish. And I like to measure Chewie's cock because, you know, I've got cock envy. He's fantastic, isn't he? Anyway, I uh, got some new food for Chewie from Excalibur FH. He sent me this diamond dust, which is for the pearling on his cock and the rest of his body. And of course, we have the regular Excalibur food and the other the other uh, flavors he has. There is a sticker from Neptune Aquatics, the fish store tour you just watched on Sunday. That that place was spectacular. Here is the food I talked about in the beginning, the Ultra Pellet Tropical. This thing is spectacular. This what it does. So it's as I said, it's a little bit more dense than a regular like pellet sinking pellet like this. So it the fish can graze on it. Not only can the bottom feeders uh, graze on it, but all the fry can graze on it. That's why I love it. Just love it. All right, let's finish up with Han and Leia. There's Han, sexy little devil. And there's Leia in the cave chilling. And I bet the Gibbiceps Gigiceps Pleco, who we've named Jabba, is in there just chilling. This tank's pretty dirty. Uh, it was being kept really clean. I have a idea that my son came down and fed these guys a little bit too much but there's chewy he's spectacular all right guys that's it for the fish tour thanks for hanging out uh let's see if i can figure out how big chewy is i gotta do math backwards he's like 20 centimeters oh oh it's like seven eight inches he's spectacular all right guys thanks for hanging out michaelsfishroom.com supercichlids.com don't forget about the deal all the links and all the information is in the description below see ya hiya fishy folks it's boxes for shipping <laughs> crookeder than a cat's ass Hi, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day. It's Sunday, but this video is going to be Wednesday. <sighs> Hi, fishy folks, and happy water change Wednesday. Hope everyone's having a great week. I know I'm super busy at work. It's super busy in the fish room. I got virtually no construction done. I was prepping for uh, all the orders. You'll see half the boxes I've already made and stuff, and... Anyway, today, a fish store tour. No? <sighs> Hi, fishy folks, and happy water change onesie to you. Hope everyone's having a great week. I know I'm super busy at work. I was super busy in the fish room this weekend and Monday morning. Woke up at 3 a.m. to go ahead and uh, pack all 30 orders of fish. Um, and I still have more orders waiting so guys if you want something go ahead to <laughs> worthy worthy wow all right another part of the wholesale order blue deltas 
Uh, these are the same fish I talked about uh, up and up, up one row up. Wow, that's stuttering. The other, oh wow. All right, fishy folks, I cleaned up that dead fish. Sorry if it bothered you, but it is a fact of life. I know the haters are gonna say, oh, it's because your tanks are so dirty. Meh, 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 meh. Suck it. All right, fishy folks, on to the Dumbo. Oh, let's talk about the filter. So people lost their minds when I did the uh, AC, the, yeah. All right, fishy folks, I took care of the, uh, the dead pleco. Sorry if it bothered you. It is part of a fish room part of keeping fish they die sometimes um i know the haters are gonna say well it's because you suck at keeping fish yeah yeah i i suck look at all the fry that's terrible yeah 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 suck anyway uh speaking of suck you guys can suck it if you're a hater but um i mean other than that the tank is is okay um let's talk about the uh seacam title so a bunch of people said they basically lost their mind when I did the Aqua Clear filter, and I'm saying it's the best one ever. And they're like, but but the Aqua, the, the title. Oh, Jesus. So let's talk about the Title 55 filter I have. I don't know if you saw that long fin. Let's go back. Nope. 